So let's see the list of inorganic constituents of living tissue. So sodium, which is uh, Na plus and potassium, K plus, calcium, Ca plus plus and magnesium. H2O, water, and we have NaCl, calcium carbonate, phosphates, and sulfates. So these prevent the pH variations. We have acids and bases as well. So acids and bases. These usually will prevent so you the pH variations by forming a buffer system in protoplasm. So carbonic acid, bicarbonate buffer system. So we have uh, these things. Carbonic acid, bicarbonate uh, buffer system. Amino acids. These are the organic compounds. which consists of amino group as well as acidic group. So substituting on the same carbon. So the carbon we call it as alpha carbon. So the amino acids we call it as alpha amino acids. They are the substance which is substitute of methane. So CH4. So C, only one carbon is there. That This itself we call it as alpha carbon. So there is one side we have NH2, which is amine group. And here we have carboxylic acid, which is carboxyl group. This is base and this is acid. One, one link will be hydrogen. And one thing is R. So this is radical, means variable. This will be keep on different from amino acid to amino acid. Totally, we have 20 different amino acids. So amino acids will form a protein structure. So let's see some of the simplest amino acid, that is glycine. Carbon, amine, carboxylic acid, hydrogen, and here the R group will be simple hydrogen. That's why we call this amino acid as simple amino acid. And next is we have alanine. Alanine consists of methyl group, carbon, amine, carboxylic acid and methyl. So methyl, uh, methyl group will act as a variable group or radical group. And for serine, these are quite simple thing. And you have hydroxymethyl. So CH2OH as the functional group. This is glycine. This is alanine. And this thing is serine. You can remember this line in NCRT as GAS gas. Hydrogen, methyl, hydroxymethyl. And if chemical and physical properties of amino acids are essentially of amine or carboxyl and are functional groups based on the number of amino acids and carboxyl group. If you have more amine, then it is basic. If it, you have more carboxyl, then it is acidic. So for example, acidic, we have the glutamic acid. And base which is lysine, lysine is base. And uh, valine is neutral, neutral is valine. And we have aromatic amino acids as well. So aromatic, 
So we have a tryptophan. Tryptophan. We have phenylalanine. And we have a tyrosine. Okay, these things are there for aromatic. And let's see some of the very important essential amino acids as well. For this, just remember the mnemonic. Mat will fly. Methionine. Arginine, threonine, tryptophan, which is aromatic, valin, isoleucine, leucine, phenylalanine, histidine, and lysine. So these are the 10 essential amino acids. These are all the essential amino acids. So let's see. The particular property of amino acid is it is ionizable in nature because it contains amine and carboxyl groups. So because hence in solutions of different pH. So you can see uh, the jitter ion will be forming. Means it can form both the positive as well as negative ions at the same time. For example, CH R NH3 plus COOH. It can form into CH COO minus R NH3 plus. So this is, uh, you can see the jitter ion. It can form the positive as well as negative at the same time. NH2 CH COO minus R. So this is like acidic and this is base. It can form acid and base at the same time. Lipids, let's see, let's go with another topic called lipids. Lipids are generally water insoluble. They called, they consist of simple fatty acids. And the fatty acids contains of carboxyl group Attached with R group. So carboxyl group attached with the R group. So R group can be methyl, ethyl, so methyl, CH3, ethyl, C2H5, or higher numbers also, like one carbon to 19 carbons. For example, if you see this palmitic acid. Palmitic acid, uh, it consists of 16 carbons, including carboxyl carbon, it has 16 carbons. And uh, arachidonic acid, it contains 20 carbon, including the carboxyl carbon. So fatty acids are of two types, like uh, saturated, and unsaturated fatty acids. So saturated fatty acids have no double bond. And unsaturated fatty acids having double bond. So if you see, uh, saturated fatty acids are quite harmful for the body. 
than unsaturated fatty acids. If you have only one double bond, then it is mono unsaturated fatty acids. If it has more than one double bond, then it is poly unsaturated fatty acids. So if you see a simple lipids, it consists of glycerol plus fatty acids. Based on the number of fatty acids, so esterified with glycerol, we call it as monoglyceride, diglyceride or triglycerides. So this is also called as fats and oils. So lipids, fats having more melting point. and oils having less melting point. So that's why even in winters also oils will be liquid, fats will be of solid. The example with lower melting point is gingerly oil. Hence remains as oil in winters. Could you find fat in, from market as well? Some lipids have phosphorus. So those we call it as phosphorylated. So phospholipids. So you can see in the cell membrane, so lecithin. So lecithin is one, two examples. Some tissues, especially the neural tissue, have lipids with more complex structure. So living organisms have number of compounds, which is heterocyclic rings. So let's see the heterocyclic, this is phospholipid. It has both the hydrophilic and hydrophobic. And hydrophobic, so which is commonly called as amphipathic, which is having both the things. And next thing we are going to see regarding is nucleic acids. So let's begin with the fresh page. So nucleic acids. So there are two uh, nucleic acids. One is DNA, deoxyribonucleic acid. Other thing is RNA, ribonucleic acid. So in these things, DNA is made up of nucleotides. Both DNA and RNA are made up of nucleotides. The nucleotide consists of nitrogenous base plus sugar plus phosphate group. H3PO4. What are this nitrogenous space? This nitrogenous space is again divided into two categories. One is purines and other one is pyramidins. Pyramidins, I'll tell you very easy mnemonic. Just remember C U T cut. Cytosine. Uracil and thymine. Sorry, thymine. And purines are adenine, guanine. And what is the sugar here? It's S. Sugar for DNA. It is deoxyribose. For RNA, it is ribose. 
So then, now let's see. Like adenine plus sugar, adenosine, guanine plus sugar, guanosine. Cytosin plus sugar, cytidin, uracil plus sugar, uridin, thymine plus sugar, thymidin. So if for the same adenosine, plus H3PO4, phosphate group. Adenylic acid. So this is the nucleotide. I hope you are following this. Guanosin. And now I'm telling only about RNA. H3PO4. Guanylic acid. Uridin plus H3PO4. Uridylic acid. Cytidin plus H3PO4, cytidylic acid, thymidine plus H3PO4, thymidylic acid. Okay. So this is about RNAs. Uh, let's see about DNAs. Deoxyadenylic acid, deoxyguanylic acid, deoxycytidylic acid, deoxythymidylic acid. Because instead of uh, thymine, you will be having uracil. In uh, RNA, instead of uracil, you will be having thymine in DNA. Okay. So I hope this is uh, about the biomolecules in brief. And DNA and RNA are the genetic materials. Okay, so let's see some other topics in the coming videos. Thank you very much.